Okay, here's a look at Robot Paradise RPO2 Acoustic Blaster with Night Bat. So here's a look at the box with the nice image there of the figures. And the back of the box, you get your typical product images that we've already seen. And the bio here that you can pause and read if you're interested in that. And the side of the box, you get RPO2 Acoustic Blaster. The other side says the same thing and the top of the box also the same thing and the bottom also the same thing so that's a look at the box okay here's a look at everything you get out of the box and here is a look at the figure and i've already straightened him out out of the box and he has his shoulder cannon and his handgun already attached and down here we have a uh, rat bat already transformed in alt mode. And back there we have a clear energon cube and a cassette case for rat bat when he's transformed in alt mode. And over here we have the accessory parts for that uh, toy version look. If uh, you're interested in having that look. But if you see, I only have uh, one shoulder and that's uh, the way it came out of the box. And I contacted the Chosen Prime about it. And they basically told me to contact Fans Toys. Uh, which was kind of interesting. Because I wasn't uh, emailing them about a broken part. I was contacting them, them about a piece that I didn't get. So I did contact Fans Toys. And let them know that I was missing this piece. But I also uh, posted on the Fans Toys group on Facebook. And thankfully, uh, someone on Facebook pointed out that um, he also had the same issue. But he found this piece in a separate bag <laughs> on the top. So thankfully, uh, I have a, a complete set here now. And I'm pointing that out because... Um, I noticed that more and more people have this uh, have encountered the same issue where this accessory piece uh, didn't come all in the same bag and uh, came in a separate bag. And my guess is that Fans Toys probably realized that they were missing it, so they just tried to fix that by putting the missing part in a separate bag. But anyways, just wanted to let you know because it looks like this is a widespread. Uh, common um, issue with the, the figure and last uh, we also get uh, my favorite the bio card and the instructions so let's take a closer look at them because these are my favorite so you get a nice uh, image of the figures there and the back <laughs> the same issue the bio is just too small to read but you get the text spec as well so let me see if I could zoom in here so you could see. This is the only way you could really read all this is to zoom in with the camera and pause and read it. It's still a little hard to see. And I don't think I need to do the same with the wrap back because it looks like this is the same three paragraphs. But just to make sure you can pause and read that if you want. But uh, that's really nice um, to have uh, more the bio cards. And then last, the instructions booklet, which is my favorite, done in a booklet style. And the first page, you get the contents of everything you're supposed to get. And this is kind of interesting how the transparent window here is blue. <laughs> and, and it's not uh, purple, like up there. So that's kind of interesting. And then their instructions, which are not numbered, so these are not really good detail drawings. But you could see they did add a little text here, which are really cool. Open, rotate, 180, push in. So I think they, their instructions, they do a nice job. Plus, they also have their own transformation videos. I don't remember seeing a transformation video for their sound blaster, but okay. And then we have the parts that you can assemble for the toy version look which is a nice accessory and uh, transformation for uh, 
rat bat, which is cool. Little um, complicated. There are some little difficulties that I think I should maybe point out if I do a transformation video. But yeah, there is the booklet and here is everything that you get. So now let's uh, go ahead and take a closer look at the figure. Okay, here's a look at Sound Blaster and let's zoom in and take a closer look at the figure. So first let's take a look at this nicely sculpted head with the metallic uh, red paint for the visors. Really nice um, articulation, fans toy squeak going up and down side to side. No uh, confused dog look. Um, shoulder cannon can articulate so that's uh, kind of cool. And I really like this. You do get a nice ratcheted going forward and back and ratchet going out to the side instead of the uh, paint for friction. But you do get that paint friction here for the bicep swivel. You do get a double jointed elbow. So really nice. And the hand, I mean, first of all, look at the nicely uh, sculpted organic fingers, which are individually articulated. And what's really important is uh, the thumb is on this ball joint, so you can get the full range of motion here, where it's not like stuck in this position. And if you try to bend it down, you'll break it like on some other figures that design their hands that way. But good articulation there. And the waist uh, does have waist rotation and you do get a slight ab crunch which I think is, is good enough. And the legs on a nice ratchet going forward and back. And the fans toy squeak friction out to the side. You get fans toy squeak articulation, uh, thigh rotation. You do get uh, elbow or knee joint which you can actually bend past 90 degrees. So that's uh, really nice. And the ankle rocker, you could see it's all the way down to the bottom of his soles here. So you do get nice ankle rocker or tilt and the toe tilt down, but no toe tilt up. So a good amount of articulation. Uh, I know some people actually like uh, other articulation such as butterfly joint which uh, I don't think you need if you want I mean this is part of the transformation too which this is one of the not so good parts of this figure which is uh, this tab here uh, you can see it's it's actually a hook it's not just a tab but there's a little hook on it which makes it really hard to uh, get out so you have to apply force and the danger to applying force is you might cause stress along the other parts so you have to be really careful when you're transforming this um, pulling it out tabbing it in is also difficult but i just wanted to show you that if you want you can sort of get um butterfly joint going back if that's your thing but here i can just show you it is a little hard get this back in you just have to make sure you're doing it um, straight. You can't do things at an angle, otherwise it's going to be hard. But you have to apply force because of that hook that they put on that I don't know if that was really needed. But anyways, that's a look at that. And just some visual aesthetics. Um, it's nice that they gave you this uh, gold plated uh, trim gives it a nice premium look to it it's with the nice transparent uh, uh, window here but I'm just curious if they would have used the same yellow here up here that would have uh, been more tune accurate in my opinion so just wanted to point that out but uh, the back um, cleans up uh, oh, kind of okay I guess I mean you have a Parts of the transformation here, this locking part that's die cast and stuff. But yeah, I think it looks good overall. And um, I don't have the Takata version anymore because that's another one of many, many figures that I gave away to my friend. But I brought out the old Soundwave just so you can get maybe like a 
size a proportion here along with some of the details so again you could see first of all Takata this is done in the old masterpiece style so you have all this extra sculpted in detail such as here it says uh, play and you got the little uh, arrows uh, pointing so yeah there's just a difference here we back out a little bit um, yeah so you could see the difference um, transformation on this one is easier the same as their sound blaster so much easier and you don't have some of the issues with this one such as uh, parts uh, coming untabbed because uh, the tabs are too tight due to the uh, paint so I think uh, they should do fan source or robot paradise should do a better job of uh, how much saturation of paint they put on the figure but here's just a quick comparison with the original G1 and uh, let's bring out some other characters uh, from the same season so first let's bring out uh, Galvatron <laughs> so you could see how these two guys look and uh, let's back out a little bit so we could see and yeah you could see obviously a little bit smaller but the the design is all consistent it's all fans toys with the nice paint and stuff uh so it looks really good and just for the heck of it let's bring out the rest of the season four <laughs> characters well not all of them but here you could see what he looks like next to uh sound wave let's get scourge in here scourge or sweep whatever you want to call it i have six of these <laughs> i don't know why i did that but uh yeah you could see he, he looks uh, pretty good kind of looking like the cartoon so i really like that look so that's a look at uh sound blaster with some of the other characters and now let's take a closer look at uh rat bat so here, Ratbat, <laughs> you could see this guy. Let's move him out of the way. Uh, this is uh, really cool. I mean, very tune accurate. Um, yeah, but the transformation here, I think, is a little complicated. Uh, some issues, such as, like, trying to get these little toes out. It's a little hard. And there is not enough room here for a Decepticon sticker but you could see i was able to use the shozy store sticker and put a little decepticon symbol there this whole black area should be a little bit uh bigger for that decepticon symbol but you could see really nice tiny toe tilt articulation here you get the um uh these little blast effects i didn't fully transform that right get some thrusters back here they, they sculpt this really nice so now let's uh, compare this with the um, Takata masterpiece and this one is so much easier to transform I already posted my reply someone posted on Facebook fans toys group um, this one no question definitely looks a lot better definitely more tune accurate but much more uh, complicated to transform than the Takata version. But the Takata version, yeah, doesn't really look as good as the Robot Paradise. But it does have some nice uh, gold uh, plated um, parts here. Parts, yeah, so really nice. And just for the heck of it, let's bring out the original <laughs> G1. Yeah, so you could see what that looks like. Alt mode, the cassette, it definitely looks like a cassette. This one just looks like a rectangle box. So that's a look at Sound Blaster and Rat Bat.
Okay, here's a look at Sound Blaster in his alternate a toy version look. So you could see all the nice extra sculpted detail here. Uh, looks really, really nice in the yellow visors. Um, so really looks nice. So first thing I'll say again is I'm just curious what this would look like if this nice gold trim here used the same yellow so it'd be more consistent it would look more tune accurate but uh yeah this is what he looks like and so now let's compare it with the original g1 where this is the reissue with the bigger chest so this one actually holds two cassettes but pretty much the same so you could see where they got this off of and one little difference is i did not attach uh this alternative piece because it seems a little scary trying to get it out I don't want to break it so I didn't but I just want to just show you the chest detail um, yeah they did capture that from the original T1 so yeah there is something cool about uh, the way this looks I mean it's all this extra sculpted painted detail that really makes the figure look nice but it's not tune accurate so that's not really my thing but just for the sake of the video i just thought i'd put it together and show you what that looks like okay now that we got sound blaster back in tune mode now let's go ahead and transform him into alt mode and take a look at that Okay, here's a look at the alt mode and after you get everything properly lined up and tabbed in correctly uh, it does clean up pretty nice so you could see it's all nice and flush and just going over like all the areas that I'm telling you need to be properly lined up and tabbed in so this is what it should look like if you went through all that work just to get everything all properly tabbed in place but it does look nice and you could hear this sucker is your typical fans toys brick really heavy it's kind of thick uh on the side in my opinion but that's a look at uh sound blaster in alt mode and for comparison here is the takata version of Soundwave, because I gave away my sound blaster but it's basically the same thing and you could see the dimensions are a little bit wider here I think this just looks uh, a little bit more realistic because I think in the cartoon he is actually more square shaped but uh, that's just a look at that and comparing it with the G1 so you could see this one's also kind of like a square shape 
but the side view is definitely much thinner and I don't think there's a way to get around it unless they completely designed a different transformation. But you could see what that looks like. And Buzzsaw, so here's Buzzsaw already transformed into his uh, alt mode with the tiny Decepticon logo there, which I already pointed out. I think it should have been a larger surface area for this uh, gray, so you could have a bigger Decepticon symbol. But to put it in, and I've already went through all four different ways to put it in. I'm telling you, the best way that I found is to have the gold piece going in first and making sure this flush side goes in this way. And you can see it slides in pretty easy. And close that up and it does open really nice. And it does make it easier to come out. So I'm just telling you, if you try it any other way, I mean, you could already see there's friction here and yeah that's not too good so just pointing out this is probably the best way to put it in because it goes in very easily comes out very easily so yeah there's the bus saw and that's a look at sound blaster in alt mode okay my final thoughts on this figure First of all, this is another nicely sculpted, nicely proportioned, nicely painted with the die cast metal by Fans Toys. And it does have a good amount of articulation. Specifically, I really like the nice ratcheted joints on the shoulders going both forward and back out to the side. But I do have uh, some real conflicting feelings in terms of the uh, way they design the um, transformation. Specifically, you know, there's parts that I think they didn't really need these tabs uh, to, you know, secure the figure in place. But um, it's something you can get around. But it's really frustrating because trying to get things to tab in is a little challenging because you um, you have to make sure you get things properly aligned, which is hard to do because um, you know there are double hinges and the paint and stuff uh, makes it really difficult. So it's kind of frustrating to transform because uh, you have to fuss with you know trying to get the tabs to line in. That might be just a little minor complaint, but the other issue that's a little bit major is um, like these panel pieces here. I know this is happening with everyone. It gets stuck up here. So when you're trying to bring the leg down to transform it back to robot mode, this piece always gets stuck here. And that's the downside of the paint. The paint that they're relying heavily on works well in other areas like the friction joint uh because of the paint it you know gives some uh more friction but you know that's where these nice ratchets come in but the downside is yeah it's kind of hard to get them to tab in and untab because of the paint so yeah that's uh that's just you know something i'm still trying to process um uh, but you know i could say it's not a major issue like where you know things can break as a result of that uh it's just something you have to deal with so yeah i'm still you know trying to you know decide how i feel about it but i just wanted to point that out because that that is an issue and in terms of the figure itself it's actually no different than their Soundwave version, which is why I didn't bring this out for a comparison because there's really nothing much to point out other than the color difference. But with that said, I'll tell you that I do agree with another reviewer that for some reason, even though he's not like a season one, season two character, something about the repaint, the black, does actually look pretty good. I don't, I don't know how to say it, so that's why I'm just giving you a look between the two. There is something real that looks really nice about this. Plus, it's nice, you know, you have the option to get that toy look if that's your thing. But I will speak to that. I didn't mention it, but I think this is where Fans Toys should do what X Transbots does. They give you this version, the tune version, and they should give you a completely different version with the 
you know the toy parts and maybe that would have solved the problem of this piece coming untabbed um because then maybe they could have just used a screw to keep this piece in because you have to remove that to um to swap out for the toy version look uh, but anyways i just thought i'd share that because um yeah let me just bring them out here because i don't know that you know you need to pay a lot for uh, this figure just to have these uh, extra accessories and I know that's another issue for a lot of people is the cost of this I think this figure actually cost a lot um, so I don't know if it's worth getting for some people and with that said you know if you still have the uh if you have the Takata version of Sound Blaster I don't I no longer have that figure because that's another figure I gave away to the same friend, so he has my Sound Blaster, but here this is the Soundwave by Takata. And you can see it's, you know, about, it's obviously bigger, this is smaller, and this is done in the old masterpiece style where, you know, it has all the extra sculpted detail. It's kind of like a fusion between the toy and cartoon. I mean, it doesn't look bad. And I'll tell you this one, even though there are some uh, difficulties, not difficulties, but uh, just unusual way they designed the transformation, this transformation is definitely much better than this one, I'll say. Uh, but, you know, with that said, you know, it, it just depends on you whether, you know, you have the Takata version of Sound Blaster and you are okay with the aesthetics being the old masterpiece style which is like the fusion between the toy and the uh, cartoon. I think, yeah, it's you can't go wrong with that. Um, so it just depends on you, because uh, this is pretty pricey. But with that said, um, there's also the difference with the sound, uh, Rat Bat, which is the main reason why I got this figure, uh, because I wanted the uh, more uh tune version of rap bat i mean i didn't transform him yet but you could see here's takata i mean this one's easier to transform than the robot paradise but you could see you know it doesn't really clean up well to be very cartoon accurate this one definitely does so it's like i said to someone else this is a trade-off this one's easier to transform this one's harder to transform this one's definitely more tune accurate this one's kind of like the old masterpiece fusion style one so yeah that's um the difference between the two and again this is the main reason why i got this figure um so other than that i don't want to go rambling on but um i'll just say overall this is a really nice figure. I do like it. It's just you have to work around the frustrations with manipulating and transforming it. I'll just say at least there's no worries and concern for breakage. Like I'll point out again with the hand. I do like the way they designed this with the ball joint and the paint helps with the friction. So you don't run the risk of you know trying to bend this thumb down and then accidentally breaking it on some other figures which i know happened to some people uh yeah because this is just a better designed hand so yeah just some little details there but yeah that's it overall this is a great figure um and uh i don't give recommendations because if you want it you'll get it if you don't you won't but I'll just tell you, for me, I think it's a really nice figure. I really like the Rat Bat. Looking forward to the other cassette minions from Season 3. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. But that's it. That's it. This is my review for Robot Paradise uh, RP-02 Acoustic Blaster. Wedge parts, along with some other new parts, and has reconstructed another sound wave and renamed him New Soundwave. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back. You finally come back to life.